Hi there. Welcome to our first free course. <laughs> um, it's not our first free piece of content, uh, obviously, but um, predominantly Academia uh, is, is, is a course library and that comes with a paid membership. But the guys at Rayon have partnered with us and they've helped us provide what will be, uh, I think, uh, an absolutely brilliant uh, course over 10 lessons. And I say a brilliant course because we get asked a lot about planning applications and what goes into a planning application. Now, this course won't deal with absolutely everything to do with a planning application, but we will focus on planning drawings. And the last lesson, there'll be a little bonus on how to submit a planning application as well. But the main focus of this is to go through and create a beautiful set of planning drawings, floor plans, elevations, cross sections, and a really nice site plan as well. And the lessons are going to be in two parts, if sort of, where the first lesson, so let's say the floor plan, the first lesson will be the drawing of it, kind of fleshing it out. The second part will be then making it beautiful. And Rayon is arguably the best piece of software when it comes to making a drawing beautiful. It's it's accurate and all that sort of stuff. It's it's intuitive. It's it's absolutely amazing. But if you look at that image there in the background, the the hatching, the shading, the 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 line weights, the even like you know the annotation stuff, it's absolutely stunning. I I would actually say that it it is the best when it comes to graphical output. Um, a lot of this is subjective, I know, um, but look how even just beautiful that inverted floor plan is there. To get to that level in other software, um, there are a lot of steps. In Rayon, it's it's pretty quick. Now, before we jump into getting you signed up and all that sort of stuff, we're going to use an example project, and it's this absolutely stunning uh, piece of architecture. Uh, again, subjective, you, you might see it differently than me, but I, I, I'm a modernist. And um, it's a hilltop home by Feldman Architecture. And we're using this as a guide because I don't want to kind of get lost in design tips. This is drawing tips. So we want a case study building so we can get straight into drawing top quality plans, elevations, sections, and site plan, as I've mentioned. So we've got a little bit of a reference here. And that's what we're going to use. But we're going to make these drawings 10 times better by using Rayon. So I will leave a link to this um, article in the zine, of course, so you can understand the, the building itself. And linked in the description below as well, of course, will be a link to Rayon, um, the, the homepage. So you can get started for free as well. And the pricing is very reasonable. It's cheaper than AutoCAD, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, and before I do dive in, actually, I should say that the website is, it, it's a really good website. And there's lots of features to do with like, you know, how you can train up on it and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, that's why you're here, so you don't need all that sort of stuff. <laughs> um, but there's something that really caught my eye when I was um, going through uh, the Rayon website, and it's this space planning guide. And you can go into bedroom, and it just gives you this guidance on how to lay a bedroom out and certain space standards and all that sort of stuff. That is absolutely top-notch. So, to get us underway... Try it for free. Enter your name, email, password, and then hit create free account. You'll be asked to verify your email with a code, and then you're met with this page here. What best describes you? Well, I am an architect. What's the size of your company? Uh, one to 10. There's just three of us. Um, what will you be using Rayon for? Detailed design, space planning, schematics, feasibility, yeah, construction, yeah, potentially. 
Continue. Watch your current situation. Uh, retraining, that's interesting. But just starting a new project. How did you learn about Rayon? I actually discovered them through Instagram. Have you ever used CAD before? Yes, every... <laughs> yeah, very often, there you go. Um, what software do you currently use? Uh, Revit. I was going to go AutoCAD there, but it is more Revit. Uh, create a new organisation. Work with your team to create. Uh, so we'll do Academia. Sector. Architecture. So I do like that, you know, it's it's just, it's figuring a, a few bits out. But this is incredibly important. When I started using Rayon, I had it set to trackpad and it was, <laughs> it was a nightmare. Um, I don't know who in their right mind would want to use a trackpad on, on anything when it comes to drawing, but, you know, each to their own. So it's very important, um, provided you, you have got a mouse, to select mouse because it changes how you zoom and pan around when, when you get into the, the drawn section. Um, I prefer to use shortcuts. So for example, like L is line, easy. And then we're in, and I think this might even be by my buddy, Mr. Roundtree. I'm not sure. Um, but go and check out Thomas Roundtree's content um, generally, but he, he does a little bit on uh, Rayon as well. And that does look like his way. Um, anyway, <clears throat> when you're, um, when you've got your account, we're in, we're, we're, we're away. We haven't spent a penny yet, which is great. Um, and then you get this, um, this little startup menu here. Let's draw the wall. Um, to create a new room. I'm going to close that, but I would encourage you to um, to just flick through that because it's it, it's a nice way of just, just bedding you in, actually. <clears throat> but I just want to give you some uh, top tips, if you like, for when you're actually starting in, in Rayon as well. Um, so this is this is a, a demonstration, um, but it is, it is quite nice to have on the screen. And again, you can see here, we're talking... We are talking beautiful drawings here and I've emphasized that a few times because I must admit I've been guilty of drawing less than beautifully in the name of speed but we're going to use this exercise to really push um, the, the, the quality of the drawing when it comes to hatches and colors and shadow and all that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I wrap it on. First thing I'd like you to do is go to this bottom right area and select that and if you're uh, i mean uk it's millimeters i do think it's millimeters in, in, a, in large chunks of the world but anyway I'm, I'm not entirely sure i know the us is feet and inches what have you um but make sure you make sure you hit this and length unit select you know whatever you wish for me it's millimeters Area unit is square meters. Square millimeters will be will be a bit crazy. So we're in millimeters. It's just so important to get that underway. Then down here, there's there's some things like support documentation and what have you. Um, but this open panel, I like to have the panel open at all times like that. And then you can see all your layers there. Um, I will get into this canvas thing in a sec. Um, but you can see all your layers on your drawing in model space. And personally, I like to go to dark mode as well. It keeps the drawing window, uh, let's just see, where are we, preferences? It keeps the drawing window white. If you wanna invert that, you go to wireframe view, but it's, it's, it's a little harsh, the wireframe view, personally. I like to keep it like that. It's funny because historically when you use CAD, it is always on a black canvas with white lines, but that is a little bit counterintuitive. I do like that it's on a white canvas and you know you know what your sheets are going to end up uh, looking like. But I also then like the contrast of the dark mode when it comes to the menus and the little window down here as well. 
Then we go up here and we've got create new model, duplicate model, all that sort of stuff, show history. You can import, you can import an image, DWG. We will, in the next lesson, be importing an image, actually, to start to just generate our site plan. That's where we'll begin. You can export. And this is important when it comes to the world of practice. You've got your drawings here, all sorted. Well, how can you share them with other industry professionals? And predominantly, you're going to be exporting that to DWG. Edit. That's just things like copy and paste, all that sort of stuff, and scale and what have you. Uh, view. You can just zoom to selection, which is good, zoom in and out, and then preferences. So I actually like to turn the grid on. I think there's just something about having the the grid there. It's um it is a little bit reassuring for some, I suppose. Um but I don't know, it's just 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 something about having the grid on just just works for me, but you might have a different opinion. Uh, snapping, very important. Now, weirdly, I want the grid on, but I actually turn the snapping of the grid off because it snaps all over the place. Um uh, center, not too bothered about, that's more like the center of a circle, but everything else turned on. Currency, uh, you can take, you can take, um, like measure, measures, if you like, for a uh, quantity surveyors, all that sort of stuff. I think that's where that comes in. We won't be doing that. Uh, navigation mode. So if you wanted to change between mouse and trackpad, um, let me just, let me just demonstrate. Trackpad does that with the mouse wheel, whereas, Historically, it's always zoom in. So if I just go back to mouse, you're then zooming in like that, and then you hold the mouse wheel to pan around. That is, that's the, for me, that's the instinctive way of, of doing things. Um, appearance, light and dark mode, we've gone through that. And then command mode, shortcuts. So for example, L, and there's your line, happy days. Then on the right-hand side, we've got things like scale, and then as you select things, all the properties, they change. But I like to have line scale as, as one, really one to one, units, millimeters. And you can see that we've got, again, some of those options that we've, we've gone through there. And you can change things like active layer and all that sort of stuff. Then we've got canvases. So the canvases are basically model space and paper space. Model space is where you, you draw, simple as that. That's where all your drawings are done. Whereas paper space is where you present your drawings on sheets, simple as that. And it's, it's in paper space where you create these pages, see? And it's those pages that you export or plot to PDF. So if we just demonstrate that in layers here, we can create a new page and something that takes a little bit of getting used to, I think if you're used to a Revit, AutoCAD and all that sort of stuff is it's almost too like malleable if you like, whereas in like Revit and AutoCAD, there are these restrictions that you're working to. And I, I, I've just found that it just takes a little bit of getting used to the intuitively most things that you think are possible they are so I, i've brought in a new page i just i'm able to just drag it down easy <laughs> um, and then we just go add view model canvas double click and then you can edit the clipping plane like so to just focus on a certain area See what I mean about intuitive? And the reason I'm just going through this is because I was in the middle of demonstrating over here. And this is where you then change your scale. So say we want to do 1 to 200. We need to just edit the clip and plane again. Clip and path, sorry. And that path doesn't plot, by the way, as well. It's an invisible boundary. And there we go, 1 to 200. So that just demonstrates that this thing over here are your properties. Then if we go back to the model space, just very quickly want to walk you through this bottom toolbar here. So this is where the, the magic happens. 
So the first one is elements. So that's walls, openings, zones, and a zone divider. If you're used to Revit, that's the same as like a room separation line. So if, you, if you've got like an open plan space, but you want to split like the dining room and the, uh, the living space or something, that's what you use that for. To give you a quick example of the wall tool, and for me, this is one of the things that makes uh, Rayon like rapid <laughs> when it comes to drawing, is you've got a wall tool, and there you go. That's how quick it is, instead of having to draw two lines or, or whatever. And you can change the thickness uh, after the fact. You can change the color and so on. Superb. Um, <clears throat> then the second one are the shapes. So you've got your walls, your, your windows and your, your rooms and things, but there's always a need for um, shapes, of course, lines, caves, rectangles and the like. The third one are annotations. So this is dimensions, uh, call out arrows and, and things like that, text. The tags are interesting as you can build in metadata into your rayon files, your, your blocks and things like that. So a tag will call that out. And then we've got editing tools, you know, copy, paste, all those sorts of things. But then your, your, your more CAD based ones like trim, scale, join, mirror, all that sort of stuff. Blocks and groups. So you can turn things into a block or a group. A block is something that when you move it around or copy it around and then make edits, it edits it across all of them. And in the last one, we've got utilities, measure a distance, measure an area, annotate, and comment. And comment is, is quite interesting, actually, because you can add comments to a drawing. And you can just say things like, you know, uh, change change this floor finish uh, to polished concrete. And provided you've got that uh, model shared with your team, they can then get that feedback and make updates, which is a much more modern way uh, than um, printing things out and, and red penning them as well. So that's the, the toolbar at the bottom there. So I think as a little introduction, we've introduced the, the course, beautiful set of planning drawings with a little bonus at the end of um, how to submit an application. So we've got that kind of course outline in mind. It's all about producing beautiful drawings in Rayon across 10 lessons. We've got you signed up. We've got you signed in. We've, you know, we're in, we're in the interface. And then in the next lesson, we will begin our journey in drawing the, uh, the, what's it called again? The hill, is a hillside house? Hilltop home. I think that's the, uh, is, that, is that the name of this one as well? House on the hill. Us architects have got obsessions with hills apparently. <laughs> So yeah, I'll see you in the next lesson and we will begin producing really nice site plan. See you there.